Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Pretty Peacock's Nursery. My name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. It's been, I feel like it's been so long since I've done a video. Um, I know I did one somewhat recently, um, uh, a box opening of uh, a new preemie doll that I had uh, purchased. And I did the video a while ago, but I didn't post it until like the other day. Um, so I've really been just behind and, um, I don't know, I don't know what my deal is on that, but, um, I'm here with, um, this is my baby Bethany. She is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown and I absolutely love the Levi Sculpt. I don't think my collection would be complete without a Levi Sculpt. So I'm going to change her today into, what did I do with what I was going to change her into? I, what did I do? Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Did I sit her on top of it? No. Oh my goodness. Well, I may have to put her in something else because for some reason, I cannot find what I wanted to change her into. It is um, just absolutely disappeared out of sight. Um, so, okay, unless, I think what I'll do is I'll just put her in this little, um, this little, this is not what I was going to put her in, but I think I'll just put her in this little peach onesie with the butterfly. Um, it'll match her pacifier really well. Um, I don't know what I did with what I was going to put her in. I absolutely, completely confused. Um, and this is how I've been lately. I, I just, I have been just this absolute, completely sidetracked person, I swear. Um, but anyway, um, exciting news again. I am welcoming another new addition to my nursery. And um, for those of you who have been with me um, from the beginning since I started doing videos, um, are probably thinking, oh my goodness, this woman must have like, I don't know how many dolls by now, but it's not the case. Um, I have 18 dolls in my collection. Um, this doll will be the 19th that I uh, get um, when she gets here. She is in transit. Um, so when she gets here, um, she will be my 19th baby. And I know I've said before I have over 20 in my collection, but I have sold some. And um, I haven't um, really kept uh, everyone informed of the, of the babies that have left my nursery. Um, uh, some that I got and didn't keep for very long. Um, I just didn't bond with them like I thought I would. Um, for instance... Um, my little um, Olivia, which is the Jeanette sculpt, um, and I'm drawing a blank as to what the artist's name is, but anyway, she was my little Olivia, um, and I, when I bought her, I saw her, and I just thought she was absolutely gorgeous, and I got her. And she was absolutely gorgeous. Just perfect, no flaws, just absolutely a gorgeous baby. But I just never um, bonded with her. I don't know why. I just, you know, I... The first, you know, few days, of course, I was, you know, she was around me all the time. But I just never truly bonded with her as much as, as how... I thought she was pretty and as beautiful as I thought she was. I didn't have a hard time parting with her. So she has left the nursery and she didn't join the nursery until maybe a few months ago. Um, and she has already left. Um, also, um, I'm trying to think of other ones that have left. Um, I know some of them, I did mention on my channel that they were up for adoption and then I mentioned or I put in the description that they had sold 
uh, which was my lavender and, um, oh gosh, what else? I, I can't remember, but, um, anyway, um, I know my little Aspen sold. He's, uh, found a new mommy and she absolutely loves him. And, um, my Mira, which was, um, a Gudrun Legler doll, um, she was the Tanya sculpt by Gudrun Legler. Uh, she has now left my nursery. She had been for sale for a long time. And um, she has left the nursery. Um, and right now, um, I have two that are still for sale. So there's still... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I have three that are for sale. Um, so there's still um, three that... Um, will be leaving the nursery at some point. So I just don't know when because they haven't sold yet. So we'll have to see about that. Okay, here she is. And she is just, I tell you what, this sculpt is cute in anything. Anything. I, I just love this sculpt. And and I know, I'm pretty sure I said this on one of my videos that um, when my son was a baby, um, my oldest son who just turned 19, believe this um when he was a baby i have a picture of him where his legs and feet are in exactly the same pose as this the sculpt it's amazing i should put the two the picture side by side with the sculpt it's absolutely amazing that it's the same exact pose the, the legs are curled up the same way so um but anyway, you know, um, this sculpt is just beautiful in anything. Whether it's done as a boy or a girl, um, it's just beautiful in anything that you put it in. It's still going to drive me crazy, though, that the original outfit I was going to put on her is nowhere to be seen right now. Don't know what I did with it. So, that being the case, I'm going to pick her up, and I'm going to... Um, uh, move her to the side and I'm going to bring my Amelia um, and I'm going to put her in a different outfit. So little Miss Bethany's going to say goodbye. Oh, she's so cute. Doesn't matter what she wears. Um, so I'm going to put her to the side here and then I've got little Miss Amelia. Now Miss Amelia is the um, Macy sculpt uh, by Bountiful Baby. And or and Macy is a twin, so she has a twin. I do not have her twin, but this is obviously the Macy asleep sculpt. I'm I'm definitely drawn more to sleep babies. However, the baby that is coming to my nursery is um, an awake baby, and she is friends. She is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Um, She's coming from Wild Bloom Babies, and um, Nasa, I, I think that's how you say her name, from Wild Bloom Babies is a wonderful artist. She pays great attention to detail. Um, I have only one of her dolls, and that is my Vera, which is um, the Abigail sculpt by Reva Sheik. Um, this baby is the Fiona sculpt by Elisa Marks that I will be getting. She did a Fiona not that long ago, Nasa did, from Wild Bloom Babies, and it was gorgeous, but it sold so fast, and um, I didn't have a chance to get her, and she loved that sculpt so much that she immediately made another one, and I can't believe I was able to snatch her up as fast as I did, because she had listed her on her, her on Instagram, and then she had listed her on Reborns.com for a lesser price because she's just, I guess, getting started putting her things on Reborns.com, her dolls. And um, so it was like a big discounted price. And she had just listed her there and I snatched her up. I was so lucky to be able to get this doll at the price I did. And I can't wait to see her. I, I cannot tell you how very excited I am to get little Miss Fiona here. I can't wait. I can't wait. But anyway, 
Here's little Miss Amelia. She is so adorable. I love her legs. And since it's so hot here today in Maryland, it's very humid. It's going to be in the 90s. And it's extremely humid. I'm going to put her just, uh, like, well, I don't say just like um, Bethany over there. She's not going to be in a onesie. She's going to be more of in a bubble romper. And I do see it. So it's not like I've lost that one. Because little Miss Bethany was going to be in a bubble romper as well. And, um... I, where my mind has gone. I don't know if it fell off into the floor and my dog's laying on it or what, because he's laying in the floor asleep. I don't know if he's laying on it because he has a tendency that if there's, like, he lays on my slippers constantly. So if there's something in the floor, he'll lay on it. Um, so I don't know. I, I just don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> my mind is just... Oh, I think I'm so consumed with getting little Miss Fiona here that I am just, um, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, and Fiona is going to be coming. She has German green glass eyes, and she is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. She will have painted hair, and I'm just, I can't tell you how excited I am, but. Here's Miss Macy. She is done by M Nursery. Uh, the, her artist is Marari Ramos, who is another artist I absolutely love, but is not well known. And she is, um, I have like seven of her dolls. It's, it's crazy because she's so detailed in her painting. If you look at her little face. I mean, she's just very detailed. And so is Nasa. I mean, Nasa is absolutely exquisite in her painting. Um, so, so much attention to detail. It's, it's just, my husband told me, he's like, you have got to start painting dolls. And I'm like, I don't think I would be good at it. I, I don't have a steady enough hand. I, I just don't think I would be good at it. So I'm just going to stay a collector and be happy with that. So, um, Little Miss um, Amelia is going to go in this rainbow um, bubble romper from Carter's. And it is super cute on. I mean, it may not, it may just look like a simple little outfit. Oh, it's got a little cloud on the bum. But it looks so cute on. It's, it's one of those outfits that, you know, okay, it's just kind of simple, but oh my gosh, you put it on the doll and it just looks absolutely adorable. It, especially on this doll. I've put this on her before and it just, it's so cute on her. So cute. I can't even begin to, to say how cute I think this outfit looks on her. And I haven't put it on her this summer at all so far. But isn't she adorable, guys? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There she is. Oh, she's so cute in this. I just love it. Um, okay, um... So I wanted to change these two girls and um, just chat a little bit like I did about um, my new edition that's coming and some of the babies that have left. Um, right now um, for sale in my nursery are Millie. She is my um, Sandy Faber olive sculpt. Um, she is partial silicone. Um, she's for sale. And I have my Hazel, which is the Zuri Sculpt by Bountiful Baby. She's for sale. Um, and I also have my Robin by Nikki Johnston that is for sale. And um, all of those babies have rooted hair. Their hair is rooted very well because I've known what it's like to get a doll with rooted hair and the hair not be rooted well. So I have very few dolls in my nursery that have rooted hair. Most of them have painted hair because that's what I prefer. 
but these three dolls all have rooted hair and it's all rooted beautifully on all of these dolls and they are all leaving the nursery whenever they sell so um i probably need to do some videos with them just so that you can see their details and things like that um so that's who those are the next babies that will be leaving the nursery when they leave i'm in no rush to sell them so i'm not going to take nothing for them basically I am, you know, holding out at, holding firm at my prices, and if they don't sell, they just stay here in my nursery, and that's that. So, um, th yeah, that's kind of, um, a small update, I guess, as to what has been going on, and as far as my nursery goes, as to what babies are coming in and which ones are going out, because I know it's like every time I do a video, it's a box opening video, but then I don't say oh well I've sold such and such baby from my nursery and so all of my subscribers probably think I've got like all these babies and where does she put them all and everything like that and it's it's not that at all it's just uh, I have you know uh, parted with some and um, but little Miss Amelia is not going anywhere I like I just love her too much and neither is Miss Bethany and um, so I'm just I, I'm just so excited to get Fiona. I, it's just I know she's on her way. I know she's in transit, but oh my gosh, she's coming from a totally across the country because I'm in Maryland. She's in California, so all the way across the country. And so this the excitement's building, and it's just like I can't wait till she gets here. Oh my goodness! So I will definitely be doing a box opening video for her. So. But for right now, I'm going to go, and I thank you for tuning in and watching my video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video and want to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on my next video, which will probably be Fiona. Have a good day. Bye.